Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chukudo B. Judith. Thank you for stopping by if today is your first time of clicking on my video. And thank you so much to my returning subscribers. Today we are going to be producing satin paint. So, satin paint is a kind of paint that is slightly less reflective and durability than gloss. Depending on the light on the surface, it can appear both glossy and flat. And by surface, I mean wherever it is being applied on. And it can also be cleaned. Which means it's the combination of both gloss paint, which is oil-based paint, and emotion paint, which is a water-based paint. But certain paints, no amount of calcium carbonate is being added into it. So, guys, we are about to get into the practical aspect. So, please stay tuned for you to get all the materials that are involved in this paint production. And without wasting much of your time, let's get to the practical aspect. And please consider subscribing if you have not subscribed. Thank you. So, in here, we have the natural soul. The titanium dioxide, the calgon PT, and all these have been measured out for our today's production. So as you can see, we also have the genopore, the acrylic, which are the binders, and other materials that are going to be involved in our today's production. So without wasting much of our time, let's begin. This is our titanium dioxide, and like we all know, it's the first chemical to be added in our paint production. And as you can see, we are producing four buckets of satin paint. So we need a lot of titanium dioxide. And don't forget, it has been measured. And like I've said in my previous videos, if you are following me up, titanium dioxide is the chemical that is responsible for coverage. It is the chemical that gives coverage to paint, especially if you are producing a light colored paint. The next chemical that we are adding in our paint production is the calgon pt which helps to dissolve or to melt the titanium dioxide in certain paints there is no addition of calcium carbonate no matter how small because it will prevent the satin paint from being from being cleanable if you add calcium carbonate in satin paint it will not be cleanable so the next chemical we are adding is our acrylic which is polyvinyl acetate, which is also known as PVA. And this is the chemical that binds the paints to the wall or to the surface. So guys, if you have not yet subscribed, please try to subscribe because this is the only channel where you can get everything about paints with full details and full explanations. So consider subscribing. So guys, if you watched the video to this moment, comment certain in the comment section so that I will know that you watched it to this moment. Also stay tuned to enjoy the rest of the video. So guys, this is the addition of our genopore. And you, like we all know, genopore is a chemical that helps the paint not to form solid con components or solid content at the bottom of the bucket or the container. So guys, the next thing we are adding in our list, in our production, is the deformer. This is the addition of the deformer. And, the, and deformer is the chemical that helps reduce excessive foam from the end result of our production. So guys, let's continue our video. So this is the addition of the formalin. And you know, formalin is a chemical that helps prevent the paint from being decayed by microorganisms. The next chemical we are adding in our production today is the biocide. And you know, biocide is the chemical that is added into produced paint that kills microorganisms. Microorganisms such as midwin, fungi, muco. Hence, it prevents the paint from being decayed. So guys, the next thing we are adding into our production today is the natural soil. And please, make sure you mix your natural soil in another container before adding into the production. 
to avoid natural to avoid it clogging the paint product. And natural so is the chemical that is added into paint formulation that give the end result of the paint to be thickened. It also makes it possible for paint to hold on to brush from source through to surface. So guys, the next thing we are going to be adding is our ammonia. Yeah. Thank you guys for sticking around with, to, with us to the end of today's video. Please like this video, share, subscribe, and please turn on your notification bell to get notified when next I post another video. Bye guys, I'll see you later. Have a nice day.